I'm going to go over the process of uh, refactoring the code for Real Estate version 2. This will give you a very good model to follow for refactoring your own code uh, for assignment 4. So, okay, I've already done some of the work. So I went into the workbook open procedure and I took out, um, excuse me, I took out all the code for setting up the headings and I moved it over to um, the form initialize procedure. So this is all that's left in there. That's pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and do that. So now I also set up the uh, constants for the rows and columns. And so my user form initialize now has uh, setting all the cells uh, with meaningful names instead of numbers in here for the rows and columns. And uh, that's moved over and the auto fit. And then this is the code that was originally there. All right, so take care of that first, save it and test it. I've done that. Okay, the next step then is um, working on the main procedure here. And what we wanna do is go step by step on each of our major steps. And I've already thought this through and determined what I wanna do and um, what data I need to communicate back and forth and stuff like that. So I'll start with a simple one, which is this first one. And um, what I like to do, and it comes in particularly handy when you're writing something more complicated, is to write the call first. So I'll call this one um, get agent name. It won't have any arguments and it's a procedure call, so it doesn't return anything. Okay, so um, now I'm going to copy this. This is a good way to avoid typos, copy. And then down here, I'll start my new sub, sub, paste. Okay, empty parens, cause no formal parameters. And it gives me my end sub. Okay, let's go grab the code. So I'll just cut this. You can copy and then go back and cut it later if you want to be safer, but don't forget to do that. Um, okay, now this code is pretty good as is. Let's notice a couple things. First of all, I have to create a local variable agent. So I'll do a dim agent as string. And second of all, I want to replace these with the uh, row and column constant names. I won't take the time to do that now, but you should do it. Okay, and put on a banner comment. And you can, those ex things are all done in the one that's posted online. So take care of that. I want to get to the complicated one here. So you're going to do a simple procedure call like this um, for anything relatively simple like these. And now let's try this one, which is a little more complicated. Oh, well, let, let's do get price because it's a function instead of a procedure. So what I'm going to do here is say price equals get price. Um, and okay, that's a function. So get price. Again, no parameters. So down here, I'm going to write function, do a paste. Okay, and you'll see it put end function for me. Let's go get the code. Um, okay, now of course this is pretty different from writing it from scratch. So let's put it in here, paste. Okay, now I am using the variable price in here. So I'm going to have to create a local variable, dim price as double. Now, how come I have to do that? Because the other price up here that I declared is local to this sub procedure. And remember, sub procedures can't see each other's local variables, uh, that, which is a good thing. 
why don't I make it a global variable? Because that leads to trouble. If it doesn't have to be global, you don't make it global. Much easier to declare it in two different places because I'm only using it locally in each place. So this code is pretty good already, and the only thing I need to add is to set get price equal to price, so it returns the value as well as putting it in the cell. The other thing I need to do is replace these numbers with the constants. I won't do that now because of time, but you should do it. Okay, back up here. Let's do a save and test it. I'm not doing it, but you should. All right. Now let's tackle the big one. Um, I want to take this code and make it into a Boolean function. So um, first of all, I'm going to need a Boolean variable to be the value that it returns. So up here at the top, I'm going to dim OK as Boolean. Um, so I, I guess I should make it lowercase, follow my own rules here. So that looks dumb. Okay. Uh, all right. So now um, let's write our procedure call. I want it to go right here. Um, get commission of um, price. All right. Okay. Ah, one thing I forgot on get price is to say what type it is. As double. Sorry, guys. And now I want to say get. Um, function, now I'll paste. As boolean. All right. And now I just need to do my um, by val price as so this is nice by doing this copy, I know things are in the right order. And I can reuse the name for the argument and the formal parameter if I want to. And that's what I'm going to do. All right, now I need to get the code here. Uh, and this is a pretty big piece of code here. So let's just get all this. Um, okay, and down to compute the total commission and enter it into the sheet. So I'm going to want my function to do all that. So I'll cut. Except the part where we do the test and jump out. So I'll move that back later. Okay, let's go ahead and paste this in here. And now I need to figure out um, all the local variables that I'm using. And do dims for them. And it may mean I can get rid of some of the local variables up in the main function. I'll have to go back and check that later. So I'm going to dim um, base commission as double. And um, let's see. This is going to change. I'm going to need a bonus. And uh, finder fee as double. Hopefully that's everything. Um, okay. Now, remember, get commission is supposed to return true if everything works. So let's just start by assuming that everything works and set it equal to true. And then we'll change that later if it turns out uh, something was a problem. And in fact, right here, now I want to save this, so I'm going to do a cut. Actually, copy would be better. 
because um, I want to put something else inside the else there. So copy and let's come back up here. We know we're going to say if, uh, here's a nice way to do it. If not, oh, okay. Small letters. Don't need the else anymore. All right, so that can be there. And then what we want to do down here. Now, of course, it took me a while to figure this out. I'm doing it fast because I want to get done uh, within my time limit. Um, so here what we want to do is set get commission to be false tab, and exit function. Okay. Um, let's just look all this over. This all looks fine. And um, if we don't do this, then we're going to be returning true, which we ensured by doing this. Okay, everything looks pretty good. Oh, here we should again fix things and make sure that we use the name constants instead of the numbers. And of course we need a banner comment on this guy. All right. That was the basics. Um, let's see. Let's just try it. I'm kind of afraid I made a mistake. Wouldn't be the first time, but let's try running it. So we'll go ahead and run this. And um, again, everything looks the same. Uh, I'll make a couple choices. Okay. And I see here that I forgot to declare something. Not too surprising, right? So let's just do that. Okay, and probably this needed to be a capital C. I like to do that, reset and try again. Um, huh, all right, things screwed up, you can see where. So let's go ahead and uh, run our macro. So we'll quickly pick some stuff. Alrighty, and it looks like everything worked, and of course, I have a test to run to make sure it really worked. Okay, so you see how to proceed. Do it step by step, test after every time, um, and it shouldn't be too hard, but your code will definitely be quite different from what you started with, and that's the point of this assignment.